Hello everyone, today we will be looking at how to connect Microsoft Project to Power BI. Here's how it is done. Every organization generates a vast amount of data, but understanding the insights hidden within that data and making informed decisions is crucial. Power BI helps with this process by allowing users to visualize, analyze, and share data effectively. We will begin by learning how to import data in Power BI. Then we will create a data model, add visual elements, and apply filters to refine our data. Finally, we will explore how to share reports and dashboards with others. Let's get started by installing Power BI. To download Power BI, open the Microsoft Store and search for Power BI in the search field. You will see three options, one for viewing reports, another for full functionality, and a report builder version. For this tutorial, we will use the desktop version, which provides all the necessary tools for data modeling and report creation. Click to install or open the application if it is already installed. Upon launching Power BI, you will see an initial splash screen. On the left, there are options to import data, access recent data sources, and view other Power BI reports. On the right, you'll find various learning resources that can be helpful. If you prefer not to see the screen at launch, you can disable it at the bottom. Closing this window takes you to the main report view. Currently, the workspace is empty because no data has been imported yet. Fortunately, adding data is simple. You can do this either from the center of the screen or by selecting the Get Data option on the Home tab. Clicking this opens a drop down list of multiple data sources compatible with Power BI. If you have data, Chances are it can be imported here. For this tutorial, we will use data from an Excel workbook. Clicking on the Excel option allows you to select and open a file. The navigator window appears, displaying the workbook's contents, including tables and sheets. Selecting a table enables a preview of the data before importing it into Power BI. At this stage, you can choose to load the data as it is or transform it before import. Transforming the data allows for modifications and cleaning, which can be useful if the original data cannot be edited directly. This is often the case when working with databases or shared files. For now, we will load the data as is. Once imported, the tables appear in the data pane on the right. Each table contains multiple fields representing different columns from the data set. To examine the data more closely, switching to the data view allows for a tabular look at the imported information. If inconsistencies are found, such as variations in naming conventions, Power BI provides tools to correct them. To refine the data, return to the report view and select Transform Data from the Home tab. This opens the Power Query Editor a tool for modifying and cleaning data without altering the original source. The left panel lists queries corresponding to the important tables. Selecting a column enables options like replacing values or removing unnecessary fields. These transformations are recorded and automatically applied to future data imports. Next, we move to the model view, where relationships between tables can be managed. If Power BI detects relationships automatically, they appear as connections between tables. If not, relationships can be manually established by dragging a field from one table to its corresponding field in another table. This ensures that data remains connected when creating visualizations. Now it is time to build a report. The report view allows users to add different visual elements to represent data effectively. The right panel contains various visualization options such as line charts, bar graphs, and tables. Selecting a visualization places it in the workspace, and data fields can be dragged into designated areas to populate the chart. For example, to display trends over time, a line chart can be used. Dragging a numerical value to the y-axis and a date field to the x-axis creates a time series visualization. The chart can be resized and repositioned for better organization. Additionally, Drill-down options allow data to be viewed at different levels, such as daily, monthly, or yearly trends. Another common visualization is a summary card. 
which displays key metrics like total revenue. Simply selecting a numerical field automatically generates a bar chart, but this can be changed to a card visualization for a more concise summary. Similarly, adding a table visualization helps display detailed data, such as customer names and corresponding order values. Powerful feature of Power BI is interactive filtering. Clicking on a specific data point, one visualization dynamically updates the other visual elements on the page. For example, selecting a category in a table filters charts and summaries to reflect only the relevant data. Multiple selections can be made using the control key, and filters can be reset by clicking outside the visual. To organize reports further, additional pages can be added at the bottom of the screen. Pages can be renamed and structured to display different views of the data. Once satisfied with the report, it is time to share it with others. Publishing reports is straightforward. Clicking on the Publish button on the top right prompts saving changes before uploading to the Power BI service. After selecting a workspace, the report is successfully published and accessible online. The report can then be embedded into websites, SharePoint pages, or Microsoft Teams channels. A direct link or email invitation can also be shared with team members. Reports can be exported in various formats, such as PowerPoint and PDF, ensuring accessibility across different platforms. Additionally, a QR code can be generated to allow instant access to the report via mobile devices. Although this overview took slightly more than 8 minutes, it provides a solid foundation for getting started with Power BI. This is just the beginning of your journey in data visualization and analysis. With consistent practice, users can refine their skills, explore advanced functionalities, and uncover deeper insights from their data. Power BI offers a variety of powerful tools, including interactive dashboards, custom visuals, and AI-powered analytics. By experimenting with different features, connecting various data sources, and optimizing reports, users can enhance their ability to create meaningful visualizations. Whether you are working with business data, financial reports, or performance metrics, Power BI provides a flexible and intuitive platform to turn raw data into actionable insights. Keep practicing, stay curious, and soon, Creating compelling and professional quality data visualizations will become second nature. And that is all there is on how to connect Microsoft Project to Power BI. Thank you so much for watching. Please do share, like, and subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in our next video. Bye for now.